Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachooks and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we they see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with tonight's evening show. All right, so ahead of the match, we will go play against Luton Town at the Emery Stadium tomorrow. So, Luton Town coach Rob Edwards. Don't come and second they talk about the match. So, Baba Kwan talk say, then go they, they, they go need to be very perfect in everything they are doing to actually stop Arsenal. So, Baba Kwan, you say for the first leg, now 4 3, Arsenal take escape for the Kennel Watts Road. So, I know say Luton said they beat up for that first leg, get, but thank God they are still very, very small and compact. But thank God, so we escaped with a, with a win. This time around, for the match, you don't play for the Emirates, they don't buy the talk tough. Yeah, so, I don't say all these things, the talk is cheap, actually. You can see anything like, see, all these things are like, chow, chow, chow. So, at the end of the day, you need to show working. You get, because you can't just come and be talking. We now, we talk, the Clarice talk a lot of things for Obo Man City. We go there, we show working. Everybody see how things go. So, you now, when they talk tough, at the end of the day, tomorrow, I expect you, man, I look up, play 10 men behind the ball, though. Come here, show your working, let everybody see, say yes. What did they talk? I mean, if I call the pity for our business, say they the fight relegation battle, and we do it since they go. They may likely go relegation, but not just the watch. Uh, I just the pity for them, but it is what it is. Now, ahead of the match, we will play against uh, this Luton Town. So, I think I can to talk about the game. So, we will play. Do you know that in this April, we will play eight games for this April? So I think I said we talk about and say, well, we will need all the best legs we can get at Arsenal. So I think that's the challenge because this article where you see on the screen, I actually saw it on Arsenal's website. So I think that they challenge the fringe players, players ready for the bench, all those kind of results in there. We know that they really start. So you call the challenge as me, me speak through them. This is when they will actually come in because we can't use the same personnel to play all the eight games we will get for this April. So at the end of the day, I think that they ginger them. See, they need to actually turn up for this match you won't play now. They, like, this is time for them to come outside. Moku see how, how everything they go. Now, what is that that saying? So they say they need to impress. Now, I can't even go check our calendar for those who never see the eight games so we we'll get for this April. Now, when you check them, you see Luton Town. I play Luton Town on the 3rd of April. We go day home 19 30 that's 7 30 nigerian time after losing town three days later we'll play brighton and hove albion that one at 17 30 that's about 5 30 nigerian time that one on the sixth after that one then on the ninth we'll come play bayern but this is not three three days interval after the match we'll play against bayern we are playing aston Villa like maybe five days later 9 10 11 12 and five days later after our travel uh after that one okay now back to back home games after Bayern, we play Villa. Now, after Villa, Villa now on the 14th. After Villa, we're on, the, on the 17th, we we'll travel, which means after the 14th match, that kind of 15th, 16th, we we'll travel immediately. This is a, no time to rest. As we travel, go um, Bayern Munich, the Allianz Arena, go play the return leg. And that return leg, everybody knows it will be somehow tough. Because for the first leg, Bayern will carry their fans come here. And that one said, go to medium vex, go to para mode. So for the second leg, <laughs> everybody in fact also for that uh, alliance arena hmm? visitors like visiting fans now the top decking now they, they stay far away from the stadium like your voice will never reach down so i know just now it will be so much make sure we get the job done but for the fact that Dortmund even go there and knock them to zero that one they give me solace they give me ginger and mora say nothing they happen we'll go there if we can go for the ETA still they'll go perform wait wait the alliance arena now you see then you know the clear eyes so when you look at the second round, we'll see, say, after our travel go Bayern, they will come play Wolves on the 20th. After 20, three days later, we'll play Chelsea. After Chelsea, five days later, we'll play Spurs. You get she don't see, we'll they host Chelsea at the Emirates Stadium. After that, we'll go Tottenham Hotspur. So you don't see, see as all the matches we'll play for April. It did too, like, our fixture list, they very, very congested. After Spurs, we are playing Bournemouth. After Bournemouth, Manchester United. So you don't see, you know they're very easy so this is what Ateta is saying all the people will be saying they never really they played before this is time 
for you to actually like when they call you you must be counted you must you must show why you are ready to start to play and ask that player so what you they see hopefully there will be no injuries at that time they rotate everything they go jelly and wild and it will be favors all right away from that so as a wenger for football three six five so the cocoa pass i do a report where we got the talk say in really fights very very hard to actually sign um what's the call Odegaard. He fought very hard to sign Odegaard from uh, strong boat sets in 2015, but it was not easy for him to do that. So uh Odegaard can go join Real Madrid. Now, after Odegaard joined Real Madrid, Odegaard played for Madrid 15 times in all competitions. Madrid sent Odegaard out on loan four times before he can come uh, Arsenal. I think that was in 2020, 2021. So we'll fast the okay. After the long term, we really like this guy. We will give him a try. Let's see what he's bringing to the table. That was how Madrid later signed Odegaard. At the end of the day, I said Madrid. Uh, Arsenal signed Odegaard. At the end of the day, came our player. So when I just like, let everybody say, how many, many players are we almost signed? Do you know that when they almost signed Ibrahimovic? They say, what is Qatar? They say, Ibrahimovic don't really come out. Like, meet some stars. Don't agree, say, one play. They go see, they will give him a try. They say, hey, I mean, they do try. Even the game of why when you say you almost signed Ronaldo, like many, many stories, like or nearly miss. Even Benzema gone, even Luis Suarez. Do you know that when that almost signed Luis Suarez before the guy go back? I would say, go to this spot the thing. I think it was 40 million we uh, as a when that offered them. With the doctor say, okay, the money will be say bad, but we just add something. No, that can't say, but the market, the person will sell and say, add something, add something, make I just give you. When I add one pound, 40 million, one pound, one, one pound. We will leave up a comparison. She is with the play for him. We carry the play at the Barcelona. We all know the records. We the Suarez later went to Barcelona and scored a lot of goals. Get did very well. So imagine say maybe we add like five million joiner. They don't carry the guy come here. Who knows whether we don't win the league title to save by now. That's why it's bro they call when that be jebu. Like what? So this is like just history. Some of you may not be aware of this thing why they tell us about. It is what it is. It don't happen to say it don't happen. All right. So Chris Sutton. On the other hand, come come as I can talk about the match we asked now to actually play against Luton Town. So, Baba Conde of the opinion say Arsenal, Manchester City, and Liverpool they will pick up midweek wins, which means Liverpool are going to slaughter uh, Sheffield United. Arsenal will defeat this is own Luton Town. Then Manchester City are going to defeat Aston Villa. So now waiting for results in the talks and now waiting him. They see, but both they watch that we we'll know whether everything will come to pass today. Says some people they play, I feel like the West Ham they play in Newcastle. So, like some tough, tough, I went around Lucas, I've been talking about for self. Some tough, tough games day to day, but tomorrow night, I believe, say we, my Liverpool City, all of us go run out tomorrow. So, we'll see how everything will unfold, even though we will be Arsenal fans. No man, we're not going to play, make it better for Liverpool and Manchester City now. We will always want them to lose, so it is what it is. Now, Rob Edwards will also be the manager of Luton Town. But back on the say Arsenal have got everything because instead of doing your press conference, I actually watched it and I studied the transcripts. So, from the press conference, Metro can do a small story. So, for the title, we'll see, say, they talk, say they've got everything. Rob Edwards praises William Saliba and Gabriel Mogales ahead of Luton's trip to Arsenal. Now, what do Rob Edwards they talk be say? Well, they say. Uh, Saliba and Gabriel Magalhães, they get physicality, they get speed, they get power. If you want to fight, they have got the physical battle to give you like, just the praise them. Because I say them, you know, will be very, very easy for them. We say them, they come to the Emirates Stadium because when you look at the way, because I watched the press conference, the press conference because they asked Rob Edwards, say, you watched Arsenal go to the Etihad Stadium and stop Man City from having multiple shots on target, just one. They stop them from attacking. So how are you going to stop Arsenal? How are you going to repeat what Arsenal did to Man City? So Baba Kale say, Omo, say I want to join. Say, no, it's easy now because Arsenal have one of the best center back pair because him he don't play football before. He's a center back. So we say, when they see those two, they complement each other very well. They have speed, they have power, they have everything it takes. They read the game very well. So it will be somewhat difficult. But at the end of the day, them need to be perfect when playing against Arsenal because we understand how tough a job it is going to be. All the same time, Baba Kondo say Arsenal defense is very, very stubborn and they don't give much away. Because even the talk say Arsenal, 
may even force them to go low. Because the toxic, for example, now look at the match between Manchester City and Arsenal. Manchester City actually forced Arsenal to go low in some areas of the game. So it is not something you will be ashamed of. Say they play a low block. No man, no man. Losing down, never see them play low block against anybody. They will tell me the comments about for their manager for press conference. We don't give us advance warning. Say at some point in the Arsenal game, they may need to go long and go low. That's setting up a low block because it's us as a young prime example. Say if we go low block against Man City, so nothing not be what they are ashamed of. Say when you meet somebody who is superior, better than you in all ramification. People were expected to go low, and I will still tell you now why I really, with the power of hindsight, now with what I know today from the search, I will tell you now why I think say Luton will really, really go low. And the reason is Luton have a barrage; they have multiple injury, like injured players, multiple absences. They have over thirteen players out injured. First team players among all these people now, like ten first team players. So I don't want this one. Now today I just find out this one. Even their best player O'Shea, even Sammy Lukonga with their best defender, everybody's injured because no matter what they check and flash score, might just check some injured players. If you check, go see say now only Timba for Asna the corner. Only Timba the toxic will not play. Then for the bottom, they come put Bukayo Saka. Say Saka is doubtful, but I'm saying Saka will play. So why can't check look inside? Look at the will not play angle. Like nine players did there. That's nine first team members will not play. Then for the down, we we'll see four candidates. Those four now, they are doubtful. Those four before they therefore will not play Colombo. But now they don't they recover small. Even they, they ask the coach, say, coach say some are 15 percent, so not like 50 50. Never really they sure whether they go play. So when you have a team that have this type of injury list, are you expecting them to play their fringe players and those fringe players no can they play low block? So I will not be surprised. I'm looking at no day surprised at the end of the day if you find out they losing they play a low block. They get a lot of injury players now away from that so the court of side could let us do say now nah, charles watts now do like a briefing with court of side for those who don't know charles watts is one of the Arsenal correspondents so for the report according to the title say exclusive that's from charles watts arsenal's perfect plan at manchester city deserves endless praise so criticism of ateta is ridiculous now charles watts is complaining of those people like jeff talk sports when the talk say uh, it, it is a disgrace, say Arsenal go, I thought I carry Arsenal players go Manchester City, go play low block, go collect one point. See, they don't get bravery, this and that. So, what's going to say? What's in Ateta go do there? Now, sometimes say many, many teams never feel good there because, like my own logic, it is better you go there, play the way you play, collect one point, than go there, play attacking, play beautifully, and lose. That's what we've been doing in the past. Check out our head to head with Man City for the entire season. Enter over there, they're not going small picking. Because we always go there, we won't go show ourselves. But this time around, they're reactive. You get we a draw is not a is not the baddest or the worst thing that could ever happen to us at the Etihad Stadium. So we live to fight another day. So that's what Charles Watt is saying. Say everybody will they criticize that for how we played against Manchester City at the Etihad. You are not supposed to criticize him, instead, you're supposed to give him endless praise for what he did there because he you know they very, very easy. That's what Charles Watts is saying. All right, so Sports Mall and Sky Sports. The car commerce account they give us information saying Bokayo Saka follow Arsenal players train today. So when you look at the title of the story, Sports Mall put out key Arsenal attacker pictured in training after injury scare. Now, the major people who get this news now Sky Sports, Sky Sports actually posted it. Before sports mode can actually write the story, can't give them attribution to Sky Sports reporter day for the uh, Sobha Realty Training Center. In the they do the video. I watch the video, but I cannot play the video, so I just do screenshots. So I watch the video and I check everything. Saka was trained. Let me put a clearer picture of the team in here. We see Saka for the background, was running, jogging, do all the things that they do for the training center to make every Arsenal fan with the fear say whether Saka they injured. Like I think I said, not to do Saka, I just saying they tired. You get it's just fatigue, so the guy you expected to play, but like I asked in the morning, she you know what makes sense with looting time when they come without their first 11 with the weekend side. She you know what makes sense. Boku rest Bukayo Saka. Are you going to be playing Saka every day, every day against everybody? Come on, are we saying without Bukayo Saka against this looting weekend side that we cannot beat them? Is that what we are saying? I think you must learn how to rest players. 
Why do we have people on the bench if we cannot trust them? These are the kind of games you trust and, and trust people like Nelson. Even at that, I did not say he uh, will play fringe players because we have about eight, nine games in this April. We'll play some players so that we'll see what they can do. And when you play, you must impress. Like, play like your life depends on it. So I think for me, this is the best time to give Saka rest, breathing space, because of what he did for front. He's one of our key players. That would be the C. So I don't know what you're think about my line of thoughts. Do you feel any the player? You know me, Saka, a young boy. After all, he, he, for international break, he rests, not in drum. So maybe they the player. Or rest Bukayo Saka. You can play the Jesus there. You can play Nelson there. You can play Miss Mitro there. You can play Fabi Vieira there. Then put him is uh, what do they call him? Martinelli for your normal wing. Even Kai Haber is gone. You can decide to rest him and play the Jesus. Kai Haber cannot be playing all the game all the time. What thing? He needs to rest too. Even the Clarice. He needs to rest. Party can come in. This is the time for rotation. Otherwise, what do they do? Man City go do us. That's what me have seen. But you know, see, no man, no man, I think I get the final say. So we'll see how Ingo approach these multiple games with this this congested fixture list we'll get for this April. All right, so so far so good. The biggest news of the night is the fact that Rob Edwards, who is the coach of Luton Town, so Baba said come come and say we need to be very, very perfect to stop Arsenal. Because see, if they go to the Emirates Stadium. Say people like uh, just like so many good players, like everybody, they're very, very good, high quality players. So they need to, like, they don't make any mistake if they go there. And Baba can give advanced one and say, I mean, I know they're surprised if they can't play a low block at the Emirates Stadium because they are facing a formidable Arsenal. So I say, even if they don't plan to play the low block, Arsenal are going to force you to play low block, just like Man City forced Arsenal to play a low block. Now, what's about your stuff? Well, We'll see what it will be on paper. This is looking like an easy three points, but there's a football you never can predict. All right, my dear Arsenal lovers, I think it's a fine place for also called the show and end. So it's like come your way tomorrow morning as usual. Game out. Thanks for tuning in and have a good night. Bye, guys.